Hi Queen! Today I'm gonna be talking about how to get this clean girl look. This was very requested. A lot of you asked me to do this video. I love finding new things to look clean. I love the aesthetic, the clean aesthetic. Anyone can be the clean aesthetic. Literally anyone can be the clean aesthetic. I don't think you have to fit in any category to look clean. Just be clean. So the first category is like outfits. To look clean in an outfit, just keep it simple. Like I used to wear the most crazy clothes. Remember them cargo trousers? Like the cargo, what's it called? Army print, that's it, and my print. What am I talking about? The army print cargo trousers. I don't know, they're not even not clean, but like thinking back to it, I'd wear that with like an orange jumper. Like that is just not clean. I don't really like patterns on things just plain and plain and also the sandwich rule this is such a good thing i actually learned this from my friend emma mac on tiktok and it's like you match your top with your shoes so like say i'm wearing a white hoodie i'd match this with like white shoes so it's like you're sandwiching your outfit together i love this so much and ever since i learned it i've always done it i'm obsessed with it now just having like an effortless cool style just throwing a hoodie on with like jeans and uggs looks so cool but it's so effortless at the same time like i love that vibe that just screams clean girl to me i also love like matching gym sets like i used to go to the gym i don't really go anymore but whenever i'm scrolling on pinterest i always see like girls in really cute gym sets i just think anyone can wear gym sets even if you don't go to the gym but it looks like you have your life together it looks like you're put together in a way matching gym sets so cute also monochrome outfits this is like white on white so i'm wearing a white hoodie white joggers so you match the colour of your outfit and I think this looks so put together because you're matching. It's like a matching set. The same with the gym outfits. Same with like if you're wearing black jeans with like a black top. I just think that looks so clean and so put together. And I, I really don't like black socks with white shoes. That's another tip. Like white socks and white shoes look so clean. Also like neutral colours. Like I said earlier. I used to wear like this orange cropped hoodie all the time and I look back on it I'm like why was I wearing that I did like a clear out of my drawers yesterday and I got rid of all colors I'm probably gonna regret it in the future I feel like colors are probably gonna come back into fashion but it's fine I have one pink top that is the only color top I have the others are white gray and black if you look at my Pinterest board I will show you what I mean with my fashion I just don't have any colors on my Pinterest board at all I just love it just gives clean like it looks put together it looks clean i don't know how to explain it it's like all very neutral colors obviously this is my winter one but it's very neutral colors the only color i probably wear is like blue with my jeans then moving on to hair I think hair is such a big thing i always say this to people i'd rather have my hair done and wear no makeup than wear makeup and not have my hair done it can be quite controversial with like having a slip back greasy hairstyle look because you're saying it's a clean girl hairstyle but your hair's greasy that is very controversial but it does make it look more slip back like right now my hair's on day three if it's out of your face and it's like put back and if you put a hair mask in it it kind of feels clean but i think it just looks put together it looks like you're just like you've got your hair out your face you look fresh i don't know it makes you look clean for some reason i never used to like slick hairstyles on me either i feel like they've come more into trend and i started doing them and now i can't stop apparently it's really bad for your hair i don't know if it is but i'm kind of worried now but i hate my natural like hair when it's down i don't like putting heat on my hair also clean hair obviously like washing your hair i only wash my hair once a week or i try to anyway but it's actually better for your hair to wash it less obviously it's personal preference but i think having clean hair if you're going to a party or a gathering or whatever i think if you want to come across clean obviously wash your hair it smells nice it looks clean it is clean and then having dead straight hair also seems so clean to me i think honestly any hairstyle is clean apart from you know when you like back comb your hair and it's like puffy i don't know i just love flat dead straight hair i think that looks so clean even curly hair then moving on to makeup sort of things like 
facial things. When it comes to makeup, less is more. I mean, I have caked makeup on my face today, as you can tell. I make it look natural. I mean, you can do more, but in natural lighting, you can really see how much makeup you've put on. I tend not to put too much makeup on, as it just looks cakey. And you can tell when someone's wearing a lot of makeup, you know? Then when it comes to doing your makeup, use your natural features. Like with my brows, I never fill them in. And with my lashes, I don't wear mascara. I love my natural features. Um, I saw a TikTok yesterday and someone like plucked all their eyebrows out and they have the thinnest brows. And it's like, that is not your natural features. I think everyone suits what they were born with. If you have thin brows when you're born, I just think it suits your face. So I think when you slip back your hair to like slick your face with it, like do your contour so it looks like you have a... I'm just filming a YouTube video. You're just filming? Yeah. I'll be like, I'll be five minutes, okay? Okay. Skincare, you don't have to have perfect skin to be some clean girl because I know some people feel like they do and I definitely feel like that as well. Like I've struggled with my skin a lot. Obviously you can't tell as I've got makeup on but I had a skin condition called perioral dermatitis and I felt so ugly and I just felt like it looked like I didn't wash my face and stuff but that's all I did was wash my face and I think anyone can be a clean girl. I think natural skin is so beautiful. You don't need to be like perfect and have this clear skin to look clean. Anyone can look clean. But obviously take care of your skin. Don't not wash it and do skincare. And I use the Glow Recipe products. They are so good. They make your skin look so glowy. I just love making my face look shiny as you can tell with my highlighter. I think it just looks clean it looks glowy and on to like smelling good this is my favorite thing in the world smelling good is so key into being clean wash your clothes that is the first thing like my sister put on my jacket last night and she was like this smells so good and i was like really smell it i couldn't even smell it and i was like it must just be the washing because it's not a perfume that i wear like it just genuinely that is my smell keeping your clothes clean best thing you can do as well i think with jumpers and stuff like if you wear them and you sweat they can tend to smell so definitely keeping your clothes clean is one of the best things wear deodorant every day i put deodorant on before i go to sleep i don't know why but i just love the smell of deodorant it smells so clean when i get out of the shower i put deodorant on i just love deodorant i apply it like all the time because i'm using it all the time i run out of it so quickly Finding a signature scent as well, I cannot stress this enough. If you have one scent, like I like smelling like coconut, my moisturizer's coconut, my body scrub's coconut, my body wash is coconut, my perfume's actually vanilla, but like, you know the vibe. Get a similar scent, because I know a lot of people like smelling. There's so many different smells out there and having like a signature scent and making sure everything you do, so moisturizing, your perfume, your body scrub, your body wash is all coconut, then you will smell so much like coconut. If you're doing all these different smells, you're not gonna smell like coconut, do you know what I mean? I actually got this perfume yesterday and it's from Huda Beauty and it's like, I'm pretty sure it's vanilla and it smells so good. Cause I've always wanted a vanilla perfume and I love it. Another thing to do with smelling good is having gum or mints in when you go out. Like if you're speaking to people, you don't want to have bad breath. Obviously hygiene as well. Brush your teeth, floss, do all of that. But having gum, I hate leaving the house without gum in. I feel gross. Even though I know my breath doesn't smell, I, I'm so conscious of it. I don't want someone to be like, oh, her breath smells. Do you know what I mean? Always have gum or mints. And then when it comes to hygiene, I think set a day every week to have like an everything shower i do mine on a sunday so this includes shaving exfoliating moisturizing everything hair mask hair wash day face mask eyebrow pluck all of that because i think if you dedicate one day to all of this you will get it done and for that whole week you'll feel fresh you'll feel clean just go oh i'll wash my hair in a few days then you don't have like a schedule of it so you kind of don't keep on top of it but i love doing it on sunday it's like a sunday reset for me moving on to sunday resets i think these are like it's such a good day to get your life together i know some people are busy on sunday so you could do saturdays fridays any day in the week 
my preference is Sunday because it's like the start of the new week but like cleaning your room is so key to be a clean girl if you're in a clean space and your room is clean and your stuff is clean you tend to feel clean I clean I deep clean my room once a week maybe even twice a week sometimes because I'm in my room all the time I want it to be clean and I want it to represent like who I am as a person I want to come across as like put together I'm not put together but do you know what I mean I want to come across like that so by having a clean room it kind of puts it into reality that you are clean and I don't know I think it's a good thing to keep your room clean keep your clothes organized keep your makeup organized because then you can see everything you can see what clothes you want to wear I just think it just makes you feel more put together like if you want to be a clean girl you need to be clean like your clothes need to be clean you need to wash yourself you need to just be a clean person clean your car I'm obsessed with cleaning my car I can't have a messy car but if you want people to think you're a clean girl you're put together you need everything to be clean I've just gotten like obsessed with the fact that I need to be clean so I'm so I can't it's like an obsession it's really bad another thing is like getting your nails done being like high maintenance like I love getting my nails done I think it just makes you look clean it makes you look put together how many times do I want to say that it makes you look put together I tend to get my nails done probably once a month I do actually need a break because I've been getting them straight for a year like I need a break my nails need a break it just makes you feel more girly and I think French tip is so clean in my opinion obviously everyone has their own taste of what they like and I also think this shape just looks clean I don't know personal preference but these are my go-to last of all one of the main things to be clean this is so like stupid because I don't even do it myself so I can't hit, sit here and tell you guys to do it because I don't even do this myself. But eating healthy and drinking water and like exercising and stuff is probably one of the best things to actually make you feel clean, like from inside out. If you eat rubbish, you just feel bad about yourself and you feel gross. Do you know what I mean? But if you actually eat healthy, you're like, I feel good. I've been on a walk. I've drunk loads of water today. I think drinking water makes your skin so clear as well. So just honestly eating healthy and taking care of your insides before your outsides, I think that's such a good thing. And as well, you are what you eat. If you eat rubbish, then you're just gonna feel rubbish. You're gonna look rubbish. I genuinely believe in that. And I'm really bad at doing that. Like I cannot sit here and tell you that I do that because I do not, but I need to. That is my new year's resolution is to eat healthier and do more exercise. It is hard, but I just think little steps at a time. I hope this helped you guys, like how I get a clean look, clean girl look. I don't want to sit here and say that I'm a clean girl because by all means, I have my days where I'm not clean. Like I saw a TikTok yesterday and this girl was like, do clean girls actually sit there with bean juice on their headie? And I was like, yeah, that is me. But I come across as I'm put together and stuff online, but everyone is different behind closed doors. I hope this helped you guys achieve the clean girl look i hope i actually gave you guys some tips thanks for watching queens i love you all so much bye